Pastor Mark Lennon, how are you? Good, how are you? Thanks for calling in to the Colors That Unite. Thanks. Um, I saw the African-American church that endorsed Trump, and I loved, loved everyone there. And I really appreciate what you do. Um, I have a question, and okay. I think you might want to give the facts on this. I never knew that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was a Republican, mm -hmm. and I thought that maybe during the civil rights movement that he was he was the leading activist for it and that African Americans should be equal to all other colors of Americans. So I want to know, can you give us the facts on how Dr. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. became a Republican and how would he think about what has happened to the African American community in this country right now? Well, great question. Thank you so much for calling in. And I want to, uh, uh, again, thanks everybody who's calling in. And, and, and I just want to answer that question uh, with facts. First of all, just understand this. Um, and as was stated earlier, the Republican Party was the party of abolition. It was the Republican Party that was formed to, 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 to free slaves. Uh, it was out of the, 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 the center of the circumference of the Republican Party. Their main platform was freeing slaves. And so it was out of that time uh, that the Republican Party has always been known up until the Civil Rights Movement as the party for the free men, the party of the black families, the party of the black communities. It was the Democrats who, you know, out of the Democrats are the is the Ku Klux Klan out of the Democrats were the black hands and the other hate groups at the time that terrorized uh, black families, lynched black families. Uh, it was, uh, you know, Democrats who uh, during the Mississippi burning time periods. I mean, then when the civil rights movement came up, it was a Jim Crow law and the, and the, and the Democratic Party. Remember, uh, George Wallace, segregation today, segregation tomorrow, and segregation forever. That was the, uh, uh, that was the Democratic governor. Uh, um, that that made for, uh, of Alabama that that made these cries and it was uh, but you got to understand what took place very very uh, 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 very simple uh, event took place when Dr. Martin Luther King who was just beginning to make a name for himself and keep in mind Dr. King was a Republican because again the Republican Party was the party that was viewed by many blacks uh, up until the civil rights movement as the party for uh, African Americans, because this was the party that led the abolitionist movement that freed the slaves. Uh, Abraham Lincoln, once again, a Republican. And so it was out of, you know, Robert Blair, the Blair family, who formed and, and created, uh, uh, birthed the Republican Party, was built on the back of freeing slaves, leading the abolitionist movement. So now, moving forward to Dr. King's time period, Dr. King, uh, who came out of uh, the Montgomery Improvement Association before the NAACP, there was, a, there was the Montgomery Improvement Association, and it was out of that group that he was, 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 was led to help fight Rosa Parks and help win Rosa Parks' case. We all know what took place there. But out of that movement created a national movement that started the civil rights movement where other people from other southern states and places, places up north were beginning to raise up and to realize that black people were not equal and they were verbal about it. Now, fast forward. During the, uh, um, during the presidential race between John F. Kennedy and uh, Vice President um, uh, uh, Nixon, Richard Nixon, um, the you know, incumbent president, um, Eisenhower, was leaving uh, the White House. Richard Nixon was vice president for eight years. Remember, the Republican Party uh, was friends of the, white, uh, of the, of the black families. Um, and then the moment when, J, uh, when, when Martin Luther King was first arrested, when he was first arrested, Coretta Scott did not call the Democrats and JFK. Coretta Scott King, Dr. Martin Luther King's wife, picked up the phone and called Richard Nixon, the friend of the black family, the Republican current vice president, Richard Milhouse Nixon. And she said to him, Dr. King has been arrested. Dr. King is in jail. Is there anything the White House can do? This is where politics begin to get into play. And this is where I believe black people, uh, the, the Republican Party lost black people because it was at that moment where 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 uh, Vice President Nixon 
had his hands tied because President Eisenhower, who was on his way out, refused to uh, get involved with uh, the, the, the civil rights movement. He was on his way out. He was not a part. He didn't want to get his hands dirty. And so therefore, Nixon did not have the OK. It was at that moment where uh, 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 where not Robert Kennedy, but uh, uh, one of the aides, the cousins of JFK, his name eludes me, but his name was a, a, a captain or a, 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 a major. His name was Major. I can't remember Major's last name, but Major was an aide of, of, of Robert Kennedy, a cousin of Robert Kennedy and JFK. And Robert Kennedy was completely against getting involved uh, for the civil rights movement. The Democrats, they did not want to uh, offend their southern constituents. JFK did not want to get involved with the civil rights movement. But, it, but, 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 but Major uh, understood that there was a moment that they could take to their advantage because they understood if they can get the power of the black vote behind them, then JFK uh, would have a real chance of winning the White House. When Robert Kennedy, remember, who was completely against, uh, completely against uh, um, um, getting involved in, in the civil rights movement, left out the room, Major was able to talk to JFK privately and convince him to pick up the phone and call Coretta Scott King as a sign of a good gesture to work on getting him out of jail. Once that took place and the power of JFK calling the, uh, uh, calling the, the magistrate, that is what freed Martin Luther King from the jail cell. Now, once he was free, Dr. King, who never met with JFK, never met with Robert Kennedy, never met with anyone a part of the Democratic Party, had rumored that President, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, JFK, Senator Kennedy, um, had a hand in getting him out of jail. And Dr. King praised him publicly for helping him get out of jail. At that moment, Senator Kennedy the Democrats became the voice of the civil rights movement because Robert, uh, because Martin Luther King began to work immediately helping push J uh, uh, Kennedy, and he was able to tell everybody, uh, I'm part of his constituents, Dr. King, that it was Robert Kennedy, excuse me, it was, it, was, it, it was John F. Kennedy, Senator Kennedy, who got me out of jail. Senator Kennedy is going to be a friend to the black man. Senator Kennedy is going to be pushing for voters' rights. Senator Kennedy is going to be pushing for the civil rights movement. And that's what helped one uh, 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 help, help, help win JFK to become president of the United States. Nixon lost the race. And now keep in mind, once Kennedy got in race, he didn't do anything. He didn't touch at all, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the civil, civil, civil movement. It was until his assassination and London. And, and yes, Robert, uh, yes, Senator Kennedy or President Kennedy began to start, uh, uh, you know, because at that time, uh, JFK was marching and, and all of that was taking place and people were rallying behind. But it was after his assassination that that J, uh, that uh, London Bain Johnson took the civil rights bill, which he called infam infamously the N word bill because, you know, he didn't really care about black people. But he understood that, you know, th this is all politics. There's a lot of black folks in the southern states that we can get voting for us. Right. And it's all about being in power. So that's what took place. I know that was a very long answer, but I want the people to be educated. And that's what's taking place. But the Democrats have not changed. The system has not changed. It is still keeping black people in their place. And so this is why we need a president and a system that is designed so that we all become wealthy, that we all become prosperous, that we all can have a piece of the American dream. And right now, it's going to take somebody like Donald Trump, that's my opinion, to become uh, the next president of the United States. So I pray that helped your answer out. And I pray that the people who are watching have been educated. The phones are flooding. Scott from Arizona. There's only the one color that matters, and that is the color of red, white. Focusing on the colors that unite us, USA. USA.